So the United States government has officially um, told everybody that cares to listen that Bola Metinubu, who is president of Nigeria at the moment, ha has been and would always be a CIA asset. What that means is that, yes, his name, his records are in the CIA books. And of course, he's got cases to answer. However, because of the current situation of his uh, brand and office, it will be a case of threat to national security of both nations if they release the asset to everybody. So at the moment, Nigerians may not have of, of course, there is freedom of information that uh, you, can ask, uh, you can access, but it will be a threat to national security. Again, on the line, threat to national security to releasing the information on his um, data. They say, in, in further uh, analogy, that yes, the 1992 and several other um, drug cases are still very, very much active. He's an active asset of the cia um i know for a fact that this is bulaban hulabalu i personally didn't want to give this um, news uh, chance to even look at it because i have my disappointment with the united states um, uh, big brother rule of course they've got to also hold their own in the alliance uh, with nigeria but this is enough like i told you Exposing corruption and um, fighting corruption are two different things. What we have now as respect is the fact that it is confirmed that this guy has drug dealings that um, are undeniable. And the um, U.S. government um, or the CIA is saying that, yes, Bola Metinubu is an active asset. And Tinubu himself cannot deny that. Um, obviously, the dangers are that we have allowed someone who has very questionable character, who are deal or dealt with businesses around the world that is prohibited around the world to have access to our national treasury and national brand. What this means, it, by and large, is that all Nigerians are now being tagged as someone who has uh, very questionable characters. Whatever you do, whichever company you work, whichever country you're in at the moment, people are going to look at you with the very... The very um, outlook. As I talk to you personally, as someone who lives in the diaspora in the last couple of months, it has had to be a lot of personal um, um, push beyond just the spectrum of where you come from to be able to um, be given some level of uh, acceptance. So to speak, I mean acceptance, going back, believing your character that you are true. Every now and then, there is so much of probing. Everything you say has to be backed up. People just sending various form of letters and credentials and results. But by and large, everybody has to look at you again as long as you are from Nigeria. And it's unfortunate. Uh, we hope that we do not make the mistake we have made. However, let me read a portion of this our reporter's um, 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 post or sorry, or news that is on their blog. Recall that last year the court declined an emergency application seeking to compel top U.S. law enforcement agencies um, to hasten the release of confidential information on President Bola Metinubu. United States law enforcement agencies have insisted Nigerians have no right on fitted access to President Bola Metinubu's past record. It means, of course, that it is liable and there are issues um, they are trying to cover. The position was stated in a memorandum filed by the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, or FBI, at the Drug Enforcement Administration before the United, United States District Court for the District of Columbia, which renowned journalist David O'Donnell shared on Twitter on Tuesday night. Record that last night the court declined an emergency application seeking to compare top U.S. law enforcement agencies to hasten the release of confidential information on President Bola Metinubu. Given an update on the case, David O'Donnell said the three U.S. agencies had fight their defense against the summary judgment concerning President Bola Metinubu's drug trafficking investigation record. Uh, the journalist wrote yesterday, Monday, in federal court, the CIA, FBI, and DEA filed a memorandum opposing our motion for summary judgment in the uh, Freedom of Information Agency disclosure uh, or act disclosure case about President Bola. 
Ahmed Tinubu's drug trafficking case investigation records, where we are seeking to have the redactions removed from the partially released files. Okay, because there were some files released, of course, you remember, and um, some of those files did have um, quite um, not so clear distortions. Uh, for example, the case of gender, the case of a few things that were there. So, the filing in the filing, the CIA effectively confirmed that the Nigerian city president is an active CIA asset and except from the CIA filings read human, human sources can be ex expected to furnish information to the CIA only when they are confident the CIA can and will do ev everything in its power to prevent the public disclosure of their cooperation. In the case of a person who has been cooperating with CIA, official confirmation of that cooperation could cause the target to take retaliatory action against the person or against their family or friends. It also places in jeopardy every individual with whom the cooperating individual has had contact, thus the indiscretion of one source in a chain of intelligence sources, intelligence sources can damage an entire spectrum of sources. As such, confirming or denying the existence of records on a particular foreign national like Tinubu reasonably could be expected to cause damage to the U.S. national security by indicating whether or not the CIA maintained any human intelligence sources related to Tinubu and identifying his access or lack of access any such sources had to intelligence concerning him. And if that wasn't bad enough, the DIA's filings, DEA's filings included a paragraph that literally said, we oppose full or redacted disclosure of the DEA's Bola Tinubu's heroin trafficking investigation records because we believe that why Nigerians have a right to be informed about their government but about what their government is up to they do not have a right to know what their president is up to at this point i think there is nothing more to be said about the direct role that the u.s government plays in ensuring that africa is currently destabilized and afflicted with terrible leaders who create poverty and devastation so at the moment what that means is that yes the dea was the one that actually created the indictment and then they said according to them that they, yes, they acknowledge there is an investigation of heroin trafficking, and they, but they will not allow Nigerians to have access to it. Yes, you can have access to what your government is up to, but you cannot have access to what your president is up to. And the president has been cooperating, according to the CIA. He has been cooperating. I'll stop there.